In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to properly use our buttons for our uh, all of our email templates and um, also how to customize them to look better for your uh, desired design. Um, basically, what we can learn about our buttons straight away if we go into the edit link button uh, is that you can edit the URL, so, so for example, you can um, target Facebook here then you can always uh, change the call to action for that particular button and then we have two new options which allow you to change the height and width of each button uh, according to, to your design specification so for example if we set a 60, a 60 pixel height and uh, 200 pixel width We'll see that we'll see that the button changes. Okay, afterwards you can uh, go into the style panel and um, choose the button background color in order to to change it. And from this you can change the the color to to anything you want from the picker. It will it will automatically change all colors for all buttons, so it's easier for you to customize your design and then you can also change the text color if you want to do that so uh, with with the same mic uh, color picker you can change the text color as well then we also have a couple more options that allow you to change the width and height for all buttons so for example if you want this to be the height and width for all of your buttons across the template you can simply uh, use this for your height and this for the width of the button. We have an extra uh, slider which controls the, um, uh, the way your button looks like and that it actually uh, rounds or sharpens the borders of your button so if you want a rounded button you can choose a higher border radius uh, and if you want a sharper button, you can you can choose a zero border radius. That's basically it. And um, you can always, for example, after you've modified the width and height for all buttons, uh, and for example, if you want this one to be a bit bigger, you can always go in and uh, go ahead and edit it. And nothing will change to the other buttons. Um, and this is basically everything you can do regarding our buttons. Uh, I'm going to make sure to update the video as we add more functionalities. Cheers!